Oh my god. God, he's a free reason next week. Oh. Hey, come back here. Come back here. Why are you running? Hey. Why are you running? Hey. Come back here. Where are you going? No. No. Come on. You, you're behind. <laughs> He's like, no, I'm not. I'll see you later. He's <laughs> <laughs> knocked him out. No. Hey, hey, come here. No. No. <laughs> Are you ready? Hello. It's not working. Shit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're dead, dog, mate. <laughs> I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> After that scare. Might be playing hide Woo. and seek hope it pops up soon. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. <laughs> Get out, man. Oh. Uh, so we're, we're we're not playing Coral Island today. So you know, yeah, the beat bro, no problem, man. But welcome into the stream. I really appreciate it. So we're not playing Coral Island today. We're giving ourselves a break. We have played it constantly, and I mean constantly for like five days now. So I'm having a little break from it. I'm playing something never played before, and don't know how. Glad it, you got your sound it, on, um, sucker. No more go. silent ninja. But I like these kind of games. Now, what I've read is this actually is gonna use our actual real life brains, and we are actually gonna become detectives, and we are having to actually like actually do research, i.e., Google, <laughs> to find some of the answers. So. You can help if you want to help. Put it in the chat. But that's the idea of this game. So it's a point and click a game. It's kind of an old school. Oh, what's going on? No, no. Shut up, phone. What the fuck, Big Speed? Shut the fuck up. God damn AI. Fucking hell, man. Forgot I had my phone on. <laughs> it picked it up when I was going, yeah, we need to use Google. It was like, boom, yeah, what do you want? Yeah, come on, come on, order something, bitch. <laughs> right, it's like a visual buffet over here, just uh, gobbling it all up. Okay, now, man, that was, I swear, I didn't even know Bigsby was on me goddamn phone. You know, you know. Shut up! It's still on! Oh, <laughs> right anyway yeah so this should be fun it's called chinatown detective agency it's not a lot of money on steam i've had it for a while but i've played off stream once and um, but it was one of them games where like it yeah it's actually really good it's like a graphic novel and uh, like i said you've got to play through like do the detectives do the stories like i said you do have to research some of the stuff yourself so let's get into this Start a new game. Yes. Singapore. 2036 AD. When you're laughing this hard, I'd say it's time to Man pop some popcorn and enjoy the show. All that he has made and sees that it is good. Look upon my works. You get says. Alicia. Get your popcorn out. My Sit greatness. down. Get strapped in. Get comfy and cozy. Because you're in for a ride. Deeds in word and it's a good song. game, uh, dog mate. It's really good. Really, really he good. Builds monuments to his triumphs. If you're not too sure, you can actually download them, um, like the kind of like demo but for there it. There is no one but himself to marvel at his dominion. I think it came out last he year. He knows this. 
and he is afraid. I had the only wish the list for ages. That he is all alone ages. in the inconceivable vastness of the universe out. terrifies him into action. So he creates his greatest work of Yeah, art. I think it's a good thing that they put. Like a back in the day when I was a kid, they had demos for every game. Every this goddamn game. Like game. Treasure in your oh, and I kind of like what you'll get. stop doing it. I actually think it's a good idea because it can give you an idea of the, what of the game master. is going to be. You know what I mean? And, and the I think it's a good idea of like, of his hey, demands. this is our game. It's not a full game. We put things but in different sections, so the demo's not exactly not how it will play out, brilliance. but it gives you a really good idea. It sees only corruption, mm -hmm. vanity, hubris. Mm. Oh! Oh my God! Of a world untainted. By the touch of man. Fuck. You'd have thought that humming bear was a fucking remote bomb. <laughs> Alina, hello. Thank you for coming back in. I really appreciate it. We are de we are playing a new game today. Um, it's a start. But you can all get involved. Low and 67 just vib in here while we uncover more gaming gems. What's everyone up to? Uh, let me just quickly. Hold on a minute. I've still, I don't know why. One a minute. I'm still like, <laughs> I'm in the wrong sub. Oh, I'm in the wrong category. One minute. There we go. We're, we're in the right category now. Yeah. <laughs> we're still in Coral Island. So we are playing uh, the Chinatown Detective Agency. It's like a visual novel. Uh, we are a detective. Uh, we're in the, set in the future. And we've got to basically detect. We, we've got to solve these crimes. Now, you've just woken up. Well, what? Well, good morning. This will get you. This will get your brain going, Alina. This will get your brain going because we've got to be a detective in real life using the internet to help solve these crimes. I'll just be right back. No problem, man. Hey, it's a Simon. Okay. Amira. Amira Dharma. That's the name. What's called Amira? It's a start. I'm here for the housewarming party. Suck a tie racing. Hope you don't get lost in Adland. Let's make sure you're back before cold. we find more treasure. Here for the housewarming party. Well, well. A CID superintendent traipsing around Chinatown in the wee hours of the morning. Sounds like a tabloid headline. So I like how it's pixelated graphics, but it's actually got full uh, voice acting. I don't know if it's full voice acting for every single scene, but we'll see how it goes. Once upon a time, maybe. These days, even a commissioner is part of the furniture down in Geelong. Hey, brought you a little gift. What's he got for us? I don't drink, Justin. Oh, keep it in a cool, dark place and away from reach of children. Who knows, might be worth something one day when we finally run out of wine. I like how they had to kind of add that in. Keep it away from children. <laughs> it's like they, uh, they probably ripped that and it was like, keeping it yeah, we've Let's got to add this because of alcoholism. <laughs> Did you bring me anything else? My first job, maybe? Oh, cutting to the chase, huh? Listen to the chase. Oh. I am a business owner now. I've got bills to pay. Certainly have. We've all got bills to pay. Oh, we've got two grand in the bank. I've only just seen that. Yeah, I've got something. There's a potential client looking for a little help. Okay. I've already told him about you. He doesn't like meeting in crowded places, so you'll need to see him somewhere more discreet. Well, can't we meet in this office right now? Isn't that not discreet enough? <laughs> SPF? SPF, what's that? Civilian. When are you going to hook me up with one of your officer buddies? You know... Real work. Firstly, you're welcome. So now since she got like um, a kind of like uh, something across her like her vocal cords, it's like maybe like a voice change that she it can It is a hope it's a feast fit Secondly, for a gamer king. Nothing you don't want to get involved with contract work at the department. Trust me, you do work you regret for a pittance, and you get yourself involved in some nasty shit for your troubles. And lastly, this is real work. 
This guy is well connected. He's got the kind of money that can keep your lights on. Uh. So you know, basically like you can the always just come back. The force is in bad need of people with your talents. So I'm guessing he's a cop. We're ex-cop. Gone PI. Probably the cops don't want anything to do with us, but he's still willing to work with us and gives us a job here and there, but it's not really police work. No. My days as a cop are over. What a guess. Oh, no harm in asking. All right, my guy will send you a message soon. Keep him happy. He might actually stay in business for a while. Hey, low in sixty-seven. Thanks. All right. Nothing like oh, savoring some dinner while we dive Take into care, this gaming Dama. adventure. Stay safe out there. Oh, that sounds too nice. It's a time. A double bacon burgers, salt pe pepper pork belly strips. We had pe we actually had belly strips today. We just had them with some chips and some beans, though. Because I couldn't be bothered cooking because my head was just banging all day. So Ella and made it for us, but it was really nice. I like the I like the music on this. Yeah, you're Justin here, wasn't it? joking. This guy has a penchant for the cryptic. Under the shade of a tree, where a man became oh, one with the now. universe. Yeah. That's enough. Backbeat. Justin wasn't joking. This guy's a and a shout for the cryptic under the shade of a tree where a man became one with the universe. Okay, so unknown sender. A it picnic is a at midnight under the shade now of a tree. Now that's a power up. I can get behind. a wise man become one with the universe. Is this? A, do we do we have to search for this? The Bodhi tree. Oh, okay. The Buddha was enlightened under a Bodhi tree, but they aren't native to Singapore. So one. Or a couple might have got imported. Although, that doesn't mean there aren't any. Exactly. Not a lot of places where exotic plant life can be found in the city. Oh, oh, I know, so that I know. So should narrow down my options. You made the burgers and seasoning. Yeah, I, I prefer to make my own burgers, to be honest with you. Um, but yeah. You're all, is everyone hungry? <laughs> I would have just leftovers. Yeah, send them our way, mate. Send them our way. You love Ella. We're making, uh, getting, uh, getting the uh, meat out in a minute. Making some nice burgers. Uh, okay, so, um, so we got, we're looking for, was it, what's it called? Botanic Gardens, maybe. I think that's where we're gonna be looking for, uh, or somewhere that has these trees. Oh, thanks for work, working, man. I'll uh, see it you in a bit. It is meant to be cooking skills on point. Those burgers must be epic. Okay. Keep those recipes coming. So we've got. Well, okay, we got settings. Okay, machine game. Uh, case name, mission log. Welcome to the China Detective Agency. Okay, I didn't even see that. Missions will take you to different places in, in Singapore and around the world. Right now, the mission takes you to task you with finding a bold eye tree. Click on the map button. Uh, at the bottom of the panels, access the MRT map and click on the location to travel there. Let's hit to highlight the interactable people and objects. Oh, yeah, okay, so yeah, I'm guessing Botanic Gardens. I mean, it's probably the perfect place to have a bold eye tree if they're not native. But they'll have, like, you know, like different stuff. Sammy, if the music is too high over my voice, and I will obviously change it. Botanical Gardens first laid out in the 1859 during the British rule. Countless species of uh, plants and animals have called this home over the years. I'm here for one in particular, the bold eye tree by the Swan Lake. And my day was really good, Alina. I mean, I, I say good, not really. I tell a lie there. I've had a banging headache all day and I have been asleep most of the day. But other than that, it's been good. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's not been terrible. Like, um i went out last night and i was caught in the rain and i got back really late um and i think that's what it was i think you know i, I was okay this morning Um took my son to school and stuff like that but i in the back of the taxi i could feel this like you know me hit my head just like starting to like kind of bang 
and then when I got in it it got a little bit worse but it was like you know it wasn't nothing and then I you know we had to do some things throughout the day and then it was just became like like honestly god it was so bad and I couldn't get to any paracetamol or anything like that because uh, I had workmen here and I had to put put everything away so I had no access to it and while a workman was here I kind of fell asleep <laughs> I kind of fell asleep while the workman was still here. Luckily enough, I'd woke up because they went outside of the door to go to the van or something like that. And, so kind of, and then, obviously, Elowin walked in the door after that. So I was like, I was able to get a bit more sleep after that because she was there then. But I was out for a few hours. I was just, I was, I was just gone. I woke up and it's kind of like it's, it's kind of gone now. So yeah, it, it it's been a weird day. It's been not so bad, but yeah, a bit of pain in my head and being a bit tired so but i think it was just being caught up in there in the weather to be honest with you i think that's what it was low and 67 sounds like there's some missing right, action so hope he finds his way back soon okay so by the bold eye tree i did say something about swan lake the client should be waiting there i need to hack my way past the maintenance gate though oh okay what is this where okay so is this a hacking software? Oh, this looks cool, guys. Welcome to the Renegade software. Sleeper Cell version 1.921. Connected to the gate system. Please connect the matching nodes to process hacking. Matching nodes? What? They look all the same as these, yeah? Oh, it's like pairs. Right. Right, okay. <laughs> we, <laughs> we got... Yeah, it's a memory flip. Yeah. I, do you know what? I didn't know what we were meant to be doing there. And it cost us $300 as well because I got it wrong. So it's basically like... Yeah, it's a match and flipping game. Yeah. Okay, so that's how we hacked our way in. Access granted. Like... Yeah, I was like, what? What were we meant to do? Symbols look the same. There's nothing quite like the solitude of the gardens without all the children and the dog walkers, wouldn't you agree? The Rupert Zoo? Zao? Rupert Zao. Oh yeah, Pears, I'd forgotten the name. Yeah, I think that's what it's called. Pretty sure it is, it is a memory game though. It is a, definitely a memory game. Because you've got to remember where they are in the order. But I think, I, I think if I'm correct, it is called basically Pears. Because you've got to find the Pears. I wouldn't know. I've never broken into the gardens at midnight before. I'm sorry, but I had to do it on purpose. I only work with people that show the kind of resourcefulness that you just did. So, so basically, that packing off to getting into the gate was basically um, a test. Please call me Rupert. I work for a special group of people with a wide range of interests. We value our privacy, so whenever we need some legwork done, we outsource. And I assure you, it pays well. I like the sound of that. I just have to say right off the bat that I'm an investigator, not a thug. So I don't do dirty work. Ooh. Oh, Miss Dharma, I'm not looking for a thug. I'm here to ask you to get to the bottom of things, not to inflict violence or coerce. Having said that, 
Were you to choose to use those methods to obtain what you seek, no, I won't stop you. <laughs> One of our own is in need of some assistance. He is the majority owner of an insurance firm, offices in 15 countries. The financial controller, a man named Philip Ung, has disappeared, along okay. with millions of dollars from the company's coffers. Okay, so I'm guessing we've got to tra tra track down this Philip Ung and help get the millions of dollars back. A contractor managed to hack into Mr. Ung's phone. And of particular interest is a message received from an unknown source. Ooh. It reads, Of all men's miseries, the bitterest is this, to know so much and to have control over nothing. Hmm. Oh, that's some cloak and dagger stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Indeed. The last known location of the phone before going silent was the National Library. Okay. I'm no genius, but I can safely assume the message is meant to lead to a book or an article or something. That'll be our first Google in a minute. You're probably right. I'll get on it and keep you posted. Yeah. Which there is a web nice. function down here. Although now, hopefully, you guys can to. see this web You'll function. Know where you are, most of the time. <laughs> yeah, no, definitely, definitely not trust him. We've had to meet him in a, in a mysterious park that we've had to, have to get into. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. He could, do you know what? He could be the guy that stole the millions. Who knows? We could be helping him right now to hack into the systems. We don't know. We're just taking his word for it. So, yeah, definitely on these kind of games, you don't know. Yeah, that'd be nice. Although, uh, you won't need to know where you are most of the time. How did he know where I am? I'd usually find that creepy. Yeah. But knowing that I'm dealing with a secret society of Singapore's upper nobility kind of dulls the edge resourceful and funny i like you already good good luck so you're alina you're on the don't trust that guy straight away <laughs> i like it your mission log at the bottom of the right corner logs logs all your leads and other relevant information to the case right now you might want to go back to the last known location of philip Ung. okay oh oh i like that so now we've added Rupert song it was all leads uh of men uh of all men's miseries the bitterest is this to know so much to have control over nothing so that's a quote uh this must be a passage from a book i need to find this book okay and the national uh, location of philip Ung's phone is the national library in its civic history so if we can we Let's see if this does this actually show you the browser. So it doesn't. So, okay. So I would have to then, okay. Do that. Do that. Uh, like that okay so i can uh, i could just do this quickly and let's, let's pop that there a minute pop that there i don't know how good that actually is can we can we even see this yeah, it's not bad. It's a bit, it's a bit, it's a bit thingy, isn't it? It's a bit stretched out, but we'll, we'll, we'll make it work. So it's okay. Okay, brilliant. All right, so we go, we go back to that. Okay. Even if it's okay. So of all men, right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna type it in here. Hold on a minute. So, um, of all, I can't, I got men's. Miseries, the bitterest is. Okay, so if we go off that and onto that, okay, where we go. Uh, okay, so it's a quote by Hero De Hero Deus Hero Hero Deus. So it's a quote. So we're gonna copy that. 
We're going to put this in chat so we don't forget this. But here it is. The quote is by Harold Day, so there must be a book. Okay. Okay, let's carry on. There we go. There was, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm terrible about knowing who to trust in real life and often in games and shows. Like Dude, this guy seems now. like a bit untrustworthy to, to me. You're probably right. You are probably right, Alina. I totally agree with you. You never know, do you? It's true. You never know until you really get to know them. And even when you really get to know them, how well do you really know them? <laughs> like, you don't know. You know, there could be some undercover, undercover secret agent, sleeper cell guy or person. You don't know. Seen that th that many films. <laughs> right. Okay. So we we found the quote. Um. Got to go to where was it? The National Library in the Civic District. District. Okay. Civic District. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. I really love this. Like, it's such a good little way to get around and stuff like that. And you're like, you know, and like another map. Uh, library, wasn't it? Library. So we got wine, gallery, and library in the same section. Okay. Okay. The National Library. It's a miracle it's still up and running considering how underfunded the government is. I'll need to run a search on the database to know which section of the library I should be headed for. Uh, have you ever photographed a grey headed fish eagle at some by Pandan recently? There are three of them. Last, check, I, I, last I checked, it used to be six not so long ago. If you're lucky, you'll catch them diving over the river for fish. Won't see much of that in the next few years, the way things are going. Okay. I need to work on my assignments. Okay. Hey, do you know what if you're okay? Is it just. PC is not really so I guess the future ain't what it used to be. I think I prefer reading about history is like nostalgia. Okay, I'm guessing it's this thing with a big eye on it. Okay, one of the key mechanics in Chinatown Detective Agency is that it requires the player to figure things out on its own. This means going online and doing a search for information that could help you crack a clue. In this case, you should run a search on the quote Rupert told you about. We've already done that. Then type in the author name or the name of the book that the quote came from in the National Library's automated rece receptionist console. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to need a book or a name. So what was it? It was... Hmm. Here we go. And boom. Please proceed to the Central Library Basement 1. Here we go. Wow, oh, I like this. This is pretty cool. The importance of history. Yeah, no one, we don't care. Da, 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 da. Okay. I don't really say much. Where to? Basement one. Oh. This shady character. Hey. Wouldn't happen to have a seen a laptop around here, have you? Ugh, no. Well, no worries. Have a good one. Why do. Ooh, there's a laptop gone missing, has it? Hello. Wow, look at that. A new face. You here for the free Wi-Fi? Yeah, we're here for the free Wi-Fi. We, we also want coffee, biscuits. <laughs> I'm looking for a book. <laughs> sure you are. Oh, you're uh, you're serious. Yeah, what else would we come to the library for? Yeah, not for the books, for the free Wi-Fi. <laughs> uh. Sorry, it's just that we don't get many visitors looking for books these days. Or these years. Uh, which one are you looking for? I'm looking for the histories by Herodotus. Herodotus. Okay. Herodotus. <laughs> I can't pronounce words, by the way. Goodness, Herodotus. Okay, follow me. All I all I read how I say it, so I all I see was like hero, hero dosis, really. But okay. Just uh. You okay? Here we go, the histories. Herodotus. Twick and impress, 
1952. Probably hasn't seen the light of day since I was in primary school. Is that Twickenham? That sounds like it was English. Maybe it was, I don't know. Probably haven't seen the light of day since I was in primary school. Hey, Mark Star. Hmm. Ex Mark Star, Nothing all good seems here. To be out Just living and ready to dive into some gaming fun. On the contrary, a lot of the stuff Herodotus wrote in the book is pretty out of the ordinary. It was his attempt at chronicling the world of his time, and let's just say he got pretty creative. Flying snakes, ants the size of foxes, stuff like that. Hang on. Some parts of these pages have been underlined. Ooh. Ugh, yeah, some people like to do that. No, there's something strange about this one. Some of the pages have a single letter underlined. A telltale sign of a cipher. This is a clue. Uh, clue? Look, I'm trying to track down the last person who used this book. Is there some way I can access CCTV footage of this part of the library? Um, technically yes, but you'll have to file a J2 form and an Annex B form and personally hand it over to the director, but he's on vacation in Fiji. Uh, but you could also file an e-application to the security department Loan and- 67, glad you're all good. Let's um, just power through those What is this game? Is it good? Moments. Answer to that is Chinatown Detective Agency, and yes, it's really good. Um, I've played it before, but never on stream. Um, I had it on my wish list for years uh, while it was in development. Um, if you're not too sure about it, go download the demo on Steam. But I'd recommend to pick it up. It's basically kind of like a visual novel. You're a detective, um, but you, you've got to actually use like real world. To, like for instance, we just had to Google then like a, a name of um of a quote for a book. That's how we've got here now. So we're actually using real life technology to help us in the game. Um, it's got hacking in it. We just had to try and hack something. Uh, it, it, it it it's a really good thing that uh that we we can all get into as um uh, as 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 viewers and watchers because it's going to ask us a few things uh I, I welcome everyone to join in if they know the answer before me put it in the chat uh but yeah really good let's keep those good vibes rolling who's ready uh, to you have a attack? j2 form with an annex b form and personally hand it over to the director but he's on vacation in vg but you could also file for e application to the security department no, and i haven't got time for that yeah we haven't got the time for that hang on what's going on here things are escalating pretty quickly i'm a private investigator a person's gone missing and i'm trying to track him down the only lead I've got led me to this book. And you're thinking the underlined parts are a clue? I don't think they're a clue. I know. I'm pretty sure they are. Look, do you think you could at least help me find out who the last person to check this book out was? Yes, but I'm not really allowed to tell you. Not even for a hundred dollars? You know. For your troubles. And of course, there's the priceless sense of accomplishment that comes with uh, helping solve a case. It's Mark's yeah. glad you're amazed. Just grabbed so let's him. Let's dive into this adventure together. <laughs> hundred dollars, look the other way. Yeah, she's thinking about it. So this is what it's come to. I mean, politicians getting bribed is sort of the norm now. The librarians, oof. I'm sorry. You're right. That was a stupid idea. Look, I... Uh, tell you what. 300 and you got yourself a deal. Cheeky. 300 Being a librarian doesn't exactly pay grade. And times like these, you got to look out for number one, you know? It's what you do, isn't it? Nah, nah. You want it. You got to pay. Oh, um, 300 it is, I guess. What? Now we've only got a thousand pound left. We, we wasted 300 by getting the hack wrong before because we didn't know what we was doing oh god okay going through Let's money like anything with this job better pay good 83 hours ago by a genevieve go genevieve go okay well, we gotta, gotta track down this person it now is. well now we're really breaking the law aren't we let's get real the law is out of service until further notice if this person's going to be found we'll have to work around it well, let's see. 42 Bidok North Avenue, Unit 12, 4081. Okay, that should be all be in our lockbox, shouldn't it? Perfect. Hey, thanks. I appreciate it. 
Listen, I'm gonna have a look at the book. Maybe I can make sense of the clue. That would be extremely helpful. Ooh, does this technically make me a private eye now? Yeah, you could say that. Ah, that's nuts! Okay, I'll let you know if I make a breakthrough. Okay, so we got Ivan on the team now? Okay, that's cool. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, okay, so we've done that, we've done that, we've done that. We've got a head to Bedick. Uh, last person to check out a book lives in 42 Bedick North Avenue Unit 12407. And it's Genevieve Gao. Oh, so where's Bedick then? Oh, okay. Can we just do that automatically? Okay, so where is Bedick? Bedock. There it is. Bedock, Singapore's most populated residential town. Without the exact address, finding someone would have been looking like a needle in a green silo. You mean needle in a haystack? Needle in a green silo? What? I've never heard of that saying before. Needle in a haystack. <laughs> okay, whatever. We're in the future, I suppose. Uh, okay, better call Rupert. Oh, it's over here. Oh, that's sick. Maybe. How were we doing? Follow the lead. Uh, that led me to the, an apartment in bed. Like 42? Yeah? Pretty worrying, you already know. But yeah, I'm here. Nobody's home, so I can probably hack the lock. Do it. My guys will turn off the blocks camera security camera system. It's on our who is this guy? I think Helena's definitely right not to be trusting this guy. He's he's got a team that can turn off cameras and everything like that. Like who is this guy? It's on a citywide network, so we'll have we so we'll have it disabled by the time you put the phone down. Dude, this guy's not messing around. Who the hell is he? Great. I'll keep you updated. Definitely a guy not to be trusted. Okay, so we got this hack thing again. I think it was that one, wasn't it? Right, okay. Boom! Complete. Yeah, if you lose three hundred pounds for failing the hack, you should get three hundred pounds for completing the hack. I think that's fair. <laughs> well, someone left in a hobby. I should feel around for the light switch. Toggle switch. Go. Look around. Okay, we got a door. Looks like we got a computer or something. Hmm, she left in such a rush, she left the computer on. Well, looky here. From Ung Philip. Uh, plan. Loads of numbers. <coughs> um, it's a secret code. I'm better. I'm better. The book in the library is the key. Time to head back. Hold on a minute. But what's in there? Whoever Genevieve is, she's packed up and left. I doubt she's still in the country. Okay, and what's up there? Genevieve, we're a fan of uh, mech anime. Impressive collection of toy models. Anything else? Anything else? Nothing? Okay. So, head back to the National Library. Okay. Like, we was never here. Uh, that one wasn't it. Okay. Where is she? Okay, there she is. Ah, just in time. 
It appears the book is a key to cracking some secret message. Uh, what is it, Luna? Uh, well, I suppose there's a chance that he's completely uh, trustworthy, but I'm but meant to trick us, so we think he's bad. It's definitely a part. I, I, I think I agree with your first statement. I think he's definitely untrustworthy. I, I, like, if he's got people that work for him that can literally, like, shut off the CCTV and all that kind of stuff, he's very dodgy, isn't he? Let's have that right. Like, right now, like, he's got connections. He's not a good person. Uh, anyway, just in time, it appears that the book is a key to cracking some secret message. Oh, well, guess what I've got? The highlighted uh -huh. letters and the page numbers are linked, and they probably correspond to an encoded message. I like how the audio just kicked in now. Kind of like this? Hmm, yes. The message is purely numerical. I'm betting these numbers point to a specific page in the book which contains a highlighted letter. Let's try it out. Oh. Okay, hold on a minute. Cipher the secret message. Right, okay, oh, what, what, what? So we gotta do, what's it, L? Yeah, hold on, it's it caps. L, 144 is L, or 158, 779. Can we, can we see this anywhere? 779. Well, 77. 77 is you. 99. Or well, 991. It's definitely not going to be 991. So, 144, yeah. 77, yeah. 99, oh, there it is, D. Oh, 104. Yeah, 104. 104 is S. Uh, 115 is Y. And that was there. So, not going to have 751. So it's going to be 75. It's all. Uh, 142, yeah. It could be, it's W. Uh, 69. It's going to be, let's have a look at that. It's going to be N. Oh, hold on a minute. Am I? Hold on a minute. Am I just meant to be doing the highlighted letters to get the words? Am I meant to be deciphering the whole thing here? Because uh, it's just that with these being in white, I, I, I'll, do, I'll try to do the whole thing and then maybe I don't know. Maybe I might enter the deciphered message below. Uh, okay, well, where, where was we up to? Sixty-nine. One hundred forty-two was W. One oh nine is E. One oh one. Oh, 101's there. D. 69 again. Was. What was it again? N. 109. E. 104. I'm dizzy from those numbers. <laughs> yeah. Trying to, trying to focus on them as well is actually really hard. Uh, 104. Um, where are we? Where are we? 104. 104. 104 is this. Four. I 
can see Wednesday. Uh, 99. Is D. Yeah. It's going to be Wednesday, isn't it? 84. Is A. And then guessing 155 is going to be Y. Yep. Okay, so that's Wednesday. So it's like, what's this? Uh... Okay, so we've got one, two, five, one, two, five. Is S. Uh, one, one, two. One, one, two is I. Uh, nine, seven, one. Nine, nine, nine. It's not nine seven one. It's ninety seven. The ninety seven. Is X? Oh God, where was I then? Ninety seven, wasn't it? Okay, one two one. Uh, one two one is I. One two zero. One two zero is I. One two zero. Getting to the end here. One two zero. Was that? Is all eighty six? Eighty six is R. Uh, one one five is T. And the last one one eight two is Y. Okay, okay, okay. Let me let me jot this down in a text. Uh, okay, so let me let's just do this word text. Okay, so let's do a new text. So we got blood, S Y O, Y M, and then you got Wednesday, and there's the red, that's day, you got six. I O R O R T Y Okay. Doesn't seem right. Should I try it again? Okay, so was I right in so do I have to separate these? Lutz. Yarm. Wednesday. Something like that. If anyone can see what it says, please, please tell me. Uh, it says something. It's Lower so small. Sometimes the smallest things pack the biggest punch. I can't really enlarge that, to be honest with you. Wednesday was. Let me check if I've got this right. Hey, okay, one one four. Is L. So that is L. Seventy seven. It's definitely U. Ninety nine. D so that is definitely D 
maybe it's like Lutz. Like quite Lutz. Low and 67, sometimes you just gotta roll with it. Let's dive into this chaos together. Could be fun. Yeah, 104 was S, yeah. So 115 should be should be Y, yeah. Okay. And we had 75, which is an O, yeah. So that's O. That's right. And we had 142, which is definitely a W. So that's right. We had 69, which is an N. Ah, see, it's a good thing I'm going back through this. Okay, so that's an N, not an M. 69 was an N. So, and then that's, I'm going to keep Wednesday as it is because it's probably all correct, that. So, but that was, um, that's all Wednesday. I wonder if that's like Lud's Town. I wonder if it's like Lud's Town and I'm getting the Y wrong or something. Let's go back over that. 144, yeah. 77, yeah. Yeah. Fine. 57. 57. Sorry. Not 57. 75. 75 again. That's L U D S yeah, one one five sorry. It is definitely Y. It is definitely Y. So Lud's Town. Oh, oh that's oh that's one 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 five. That's one five five. It is town. It is town. See? Lud's Town makes more sense. Lud's Town. Okay. So we we got a few it, looking at all these numbers i agree with alina it's like blur sometimes so it's a good thing we're going over to Lud's town wednesday do you reckon that's 6 40. let's town wednesday six come on oh my god <laughs> I just had to go over it because it was like, yeah, I was like, Alina's really correct there. Dizzy from the numbers because they're all stuck together and you've got, and you've got to look at them. Like, obviously, I got a few a few of the, the numbers wrong. Like, I had the T wrong for a Y. I had the F wrong for an N. So, there was like two letters and then obviously spacing that out makes more sense to Lud's Town, Wednesday, 6.40. So, it's, there's a place... There's a date and there's a time. A meeting place and a time. Bloodstown. Never heard of it. Well, we can always um, Wherever have a look it around is, for it. It's probably where Philip and Genevieve have gone off to. I doubt this place is in Singapore. <sighs> Genevieve left in a hurry. I'm betting this is a flight. Bloodstown. Says here there were only three flights at 6.40 on the Wednesday after the email was sent. Okay. Istanbul, London, and Osaka. I'll have to do a little digging to find exactly where they went. Lutztown, maybe London. Sounds like somewhere, maybe. I don't know, Istanbul, man, I'm not too sure. Osaka, yeah, maybe. Doubt it though, it's probably London. Got a little digging to find out exactly where they I went. Go. Thanks for everything. No problem. I'm meeting, by the way. Meeting. If you need my help again, you know where to find me. I like that I can put my encyclopedic knowledge to good use, but bring cash. <laughs> Noted. Thanks, meeting. I'll be in touch. Yes, bring some cash. A 
And maybe. Boop it. Club Ang and his girlfriend are no longer in Singapore. I didn't expect this much. Do you know where they went? I left a clue behind. I'm still figuring it out, but I need money to book a flight. Say no more. I'm wiring you partial payment for the job. Book your flight and get there as soon as possible. Wherever they are, I can make a few calls and track their precise location. Call me when you land. What happens when they get back here? You shouldn't worry about that. Just find them. You'll get a bonus for bringing them back alive. Back here alive. Ooh. Now, so, now that you know where the suspect is, it's time to fly there. The game features a flight booking system called Horace. Click on the Horace button in the bottom panel and book a flight to wherever you think Philip and Genevieve have gone. After that, travel to the airport. If you're too early for your flight, you can speed up time by waiting. Press W to open up the wait menu. Okay, but first of all, we need to find out, isn't it optional? Uh, bring, oh, this is optional. Hold on a minute, hold on a minute. We're gonna find out where Bloodstown is. We'll do that in a minute. Find Philip and Genevieve, optional. Bring Philip and Genevieve back to Singapore. Why is that optional? Well, let's see, eh? Right, okay, so let's let's open up um, an internet browser again. Let me just do that. Um, let me, as well, if rather than the... Because you couldn't see it before, could you? So let me just swap over to this a minute. And hello. Hello, hello. Yes. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, <laughs> We should be able to do this and then this and bang look at that yeah look at that yeah beauties we can just boom okay now we can see that better i'm guessing yeah we can see that a lot better now yeah hello hello you can see me typing okay so we're gonna go if you're ready for some Lutz. gaming fun let's make it epic now Boom. Yep, Ludstown is an old name for London. What did I say? It's London. Yeah, look, we don't want no spoiler hints. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, so we're heading to London, guys. We're heading to London. Boom. Okay, okay. So that, that's a lot better doing it like that big screen rather than a little tiny thing that you can't see. Okay, so we are going to London. I did think it was in London. I'd said that straight away. It sounded like somewhere in London. But we're going to go to London. Then we're going to fight Philip and Genevieve and then optional, bring them back or not to bring them back, I would be guessing. I'm guessing we've got the, ch the choice of letting them go after hearing their story or bringing them back Horace so we want to go from Singapore and we want to go to London depart what what where uh, 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 Monday now uh, 1.03.37 okay we can get uh 640's gone so i'm guessing we're gonna get this one two o'clock one that's the 640 is already gone yeah six six forty is already gone because it's nine o'clock in the morning so this one we can book the flights and we're gone Matt. Okay, airport. To the airport we go. <laughs> yes, Tom Oda one. We salute you, sir. Let's show them how we go. Welcome, readers. Welcome, readers. The hype to eleven. Let's show these new folks how we go. Yes, mate. How you doing? What is your stream good? Uh, we are playing a game today called Chinatown Detective Agency. And we're just getting into it, us in chat. Uh, we are a private eye detective um, looking for two people that have gone missing. And it's 
a very good game at the moment actually it's a kind of like a visual novel game you have to use like the internet in real life to like help you like track track things down find information down there's a lot to this game very very good yeah <laughs> well it wasn't i wasn't googling how to play the game like i'll show you now so if i click on the web like it literally okay it won't it won't take you now but if i can click on something just chatting it will actually bring you now to a browser t0 millimeter zero the one loving and this chaotic excitement let's channel then, all that okay into some it, epic it did come tonight. up before where is it where is it it did come up before i i lie that one that one this one hello 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 chats is it this one is it this one yay we found it <laughs> fuck it now man so and then as you can see you'll, you'll see me like yeah i can type in and we have to actually find woodstown we have to find all sorts of stuff so yeah we have to find the quotes uh yeah for fuck's sake i know uh we had to find a quote for a book in the library it me honestly it's actually a really good game that you have to go online and actually find these things out it, it's pretty interesting actually so now the mission is we as we can tell so what we've done is we found this mysterious guy who sent us an advert um, to find here. these Let's find this couple uh, we had to go to the library we had to actually hack, hack our way to get get into this guy so we did that we had to go, go to the library find this book which we did that's got a secret code in it uh, and we had to kind of decipher the codes which we've just done that and then we've had to go to their apartment they've left another code we have to decipher that code that basically tell us where they were going in the world and now we're gonna go there um so what do we have to do here we have to wait we just have to wait oh hold on how many what's the time what's the time what oh it's 12. um hold on a minute what what time was the what time was the booking for does anyone remember does anyone remember what time the booking was for i don't know <laughs> I don't know how time you gotta watch. I don't know when was the oh no, when was the booking? T zero millimeter zero, the one better watch out for those puns or they'll get you lost. Was in it time. was it five o'clock? Oh I don't know. I don't even know what time it was. Oh yeah, no, two o'clock. Oh, we might as well wait now. Boarding starts three hours. Okay, well, can we board? How do we do that? How do we, how do we board? <laughs> what do we do? <laughs> what the fuck do we do? <laughs> do we just wait here? Uh, how? Uh, hello? Uh, no. I'm, I'm guessing we just wait here until it says board. I'm guessing we just wait in the waiting lounge for hours. That's why it's got to wait on there if we come really early. I'm guessing. Nothing else we can do. Just like real life chat. Zero millimeter zero. <laughs> the one glad you're enjoying this giggle fest. God. Let's make every moment legendary. Welcome to viewing waiting simulator. <laughs> Can we board? Can we board? I've missed your flight. What do you mean? I'm fucking here? <laughs> I just what? What do you mean? I missed my flight? How how did I board? You what? What are you going on about? How how do I get? How do I do this? Oh oh my god. Uh, please remember to board up to your flight up to three hours before departure. Well, how do I board? Do I have to book more tickets? 
<laughs> no chance, mate. Let's keep and, uh, this hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Okay, hold on a minute. Right, okay. Do we have, do we have to pay for more tickets? Oh, my God. We're running out of money already. Right, we've just missed the 2 o'clock one. Let's get... Oh, my God. We've. Oh, my God. This cost us more money, chat. Oh, my God. Right, I'm here. What do we do? But... Fucking yes, I didn't see that little button up at the top. Did anyone else see that? So we've got so just like in real life, you've gotta you've gotta you've gotta be there for three hours. We've just wasted five hundred and fifty dollars. <laughs> so we wasted three hundred dollars by not knowing how to crack it into the gate at the beginning of the game because it didn't tell us we just had to figure the fucking out and now we've just wasted 550 dollars uh because we didn't know how to check into goddamn plane we're gonna be broke at the end of this rate right? t0 millimeter zero the one hey don't worry just follow yeah we're gonna we're gonna be broke man into pure epicness Oh my god, at least I know now, at least I know. Okay, Rupert, I think they're in London. Can you reach out for your feelers and see if you can track them down? Okay, hang on. Yeah, this guy's dodgy. It's so dodgy. The city surveillance network spotted them at an apartment not far. We, we got it right. Uh, from Canary Wharf. God bless AI. <laughs> Howard face recognition. CCT footage shows a man that matches Philip's profile entering an apartment a few hours ago. Go now. Okay, 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 okay. Can every wolf depart apartments? Okay, here we go. Yeah, what, what do you want, Rupert? Are you there? Yeah. Yeah, just outside the apartment. What do you want now? Listen, cornered snakes tend to strike in furious desperation. Be careful, just in case. Thanks. Don't worry. There's always a diplomatic solution to every problem. Is this where we die? <laughs> Can we save the game? <laughs> Mr. Ng, I'm Amira Dharma from Singapore. I've been sent to ask you a few questions. Can I have a few minutes? No, fuck off. Oh, I didn't just shoot Looks me the like door. Looks like the diplomatic solution isn't going to work today. <laughs> there you go. No, fuck off. Bang. When you see crosshair, when you see, oh, hold on a minute, hold on a minute, hold on a minute. When you see the crosshair icon above Amira's head, it means that a shootout is about to begin. Oh, shit. Press and hold the G key to unholster your gun and begin a shootout. What the fuck? What are you doing, Philip? Oh, it's on. It's done. I'm done. I'm not going back! Yes, you are. So is Genevieve. Alive. Put the gun down. I'm done. I've done what I was told, and I'm gonna live with it. What have you done? What have you done? Tell us all, Philip. Even if it means we have to die. Whenever you enter a shootout, your mouse cursor will turn into a crosshair. Shoot Philip to disable him. You'd always try to shoot your target in the hand or arm to avoid killing him. Be careful. You got a limited time to take the shot. You run out of time. You'll you will automatically kill your target. Boom! Boom! Just like that, baby. Yeah, got nothing on me. <laughs> I'll see fast. A fucking instant reaction. The woman of the hour is back in the house. Give me my money. Oh my God. Oh my God. We went from $500. And don't forget, we wasted quite a bit to $7,840. Dude. Seven grand, near enough, and one for one job. Oh my God. We're going to be rich. The woman after hours back Hello, in the Ruben. house. How's our man doing? He was discharged from the hospital yesterday. He was carted to CID HQ, but not before I could have a word with him. Yeah, I bet you beat some to this fucking shit, didn't you? He had quite a story. Mm. Oh? Care to share? It appears Philip's little heist wasn't his <sighs> idea. Ah. Oh. Okay. I'm guessing we've got to investigate a he bit more. 
Accomplice suggests that it was a team effort, but it's not that. It's more like he received instructions from someone else. Someone that's proving to be elusive. Yeah, I thought she was having... I thought it was like a voice box or something. I don't know what it is. They've not, they've not, um, they've not told us what that is yet. I thought it was like a voice box or something like that. Like me, I don't know what it is. Like, I don't know if it's just like a weird necklace, something, I don't know what it is around the neck. I've got a feeling that but yeah, you can see it there. It looks like it's glowing up. It looks like it's kind of like a, a voice box or maybe she can, maybe in like certain circumstances, she, she can like change her voice or something. This is set in the future as well. So this is like 20, I think it was like 2035. So it is in the future. And she is a private piano. So maybe, like I said, like she, she can change her voice or something like that for, for certain reasons. Some business going on in closed doors. <laughs> Be thankful. Repeat business is hard to come by these days. There's a secret word for a stripper. Get yourself something good. To <laughs> Private PR. Some rest. Zero millimeter zero. It. The one haha -ha office secrets. Huh? Let's just say it's all about leveling up. If you know what I mean. Get yourself something to take good to eat. Get some rest. You've earned it. Damn right, I Call have. me when you're ready to go deeper down the rabbit hole. Ooh, let's go deeper down the rabbit hole, chat. Thanks. See you when I see you. Good day, Miss Dharma. Okay, first case done, chat. The game also saves at the end of every mission. That got, that took us an hour and twelve minutes, or an hour and thirty minutes to do one mission. One. We did fuck up a twice and waste a bit of money but we got there in the end so we know how this kind of game works now how to travel and stuff like that so we shouldn't really be wasting a lot more money now but you never know with me so <laughs> like who knew you had to be there at like three hours like in a real life bloody airport i love the music to this game this game's so good god what a T zero shit millimeter one. zero, the one private investigator. Let's crack this case wide open, detective style. <sighs> the things I do for some people. I bet. <laughs> uh, hi. Can I help you? Amira Dharma. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Did we have an appointment? No. I'm a. Uh walk-in customer the door was left open so i let myself in i'm tiger lily i apologize for the unannounced visit i'm here to talk about a potential job no that's quite all right please have a seat oh shit tiger lily is that a stage name or something is that a stage name <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> Better is. I'll stand if you uh. don't mind. I actually don't have long. I'll give you the quick abridged version. Yeah. A friend Stage needs some help name. <laughs> family matter. <laughs> Sucker tie racing. Haha. -ha stage names are like uh. superhero aliases. Let's see who can come up with the most outrageous one. Yeah. I give you the quick uh, abbreviated version. A friend of uh, needs some help with a uh, family matter. Yeah. Have a look at this. Okay. Okay, so it's a stamp. Got some kind of postal thing on it, and it's got a name of a city. Okay. Uh, Anthropol. Anthropol. Maybe like Greece. Something some like that. Ottomans. Is that Ottomans? Something like that. A stamping case in a thin protective plastic film it's in great condition part of a cancellation mark is clearly visible nice looking stamp sure if you're into that kind of thing my friend needs someone to return this stamp to the place of its origin no questions asked oh that's a very weird job why can't you just post it back like put it in an envelope and post it back what what well, this is a weird, this is a weird job. Oh, but I've got so many questions. Yeah, so have I. <laughs> I'm sure you do. My friend is willing to pay eight thousand dollars for the return of this stamp. 
No questions asked. Okay, we're doing it. We're doing it's it, like chat. Haha, -ha. we're not running a pharmacy here. Let's stick to. <laughs> we're not going to put it in an envelope. Don't worry about that. We're, we're eight grand. Yeah, we're doing. We're all in. <laughs> we need. We need the money. <laughs> it's drugs. <laughs> Maybe. Who knows? Oh God. For eight grand. Yeah, we're all in. We will, of course, require some official acknowledgement that it has ended up in the hands of the right people. An email from a government official or museum will do. What? Where am I delivering this to? Okay. So you need me to figure out where this stamp came from. Yeah. Travel all the way there yeah. and return it to anyone willing to take it. Seems fishy. Yeah. Why doesn't your friend just hire a stamp collector to figure it out and send it to wherever he needs to go via courier? Exactly what I said. This needs to be done with the utmost confidentiality. It needs to be done in person and it needs to arrive where it needs to safely and securely. If you want a long career in private investigation, you better get used to unusual requests like these. Yeah, this is very unusual. Okay. I'm sure I can work it out. Yeah, this this is weird. This case. So basically, we were we now become Good. a private courier. Thank you. Yeah, no problems. Uh. So okay, so we have become a private courier. Dreams. Don't let the bed bugs We have to deliver some stamp to someone in some country, <laughs> and that's it. Oh, we get paid eight grand for it. Okay. Travel expenses won't be covered. Okay. So try to keep your movements efficient and decisive. Yeah, we kind of figured that one out, love. Got it. I'll let you know when I make a breakthrough. We Please kind of know to. I'll wait for word. It was a pleasure. Book an airport Mr. three hours before. We'll get there three hours before so we can travel because it's like a departure time. So we know that now. Okay, please wait. Please do. I'll wait for it. So, so we need to get this nice stamp to delivered you. to somebody. We need proof and evidence that it's being delivered as well. Okay, this this is... Yeah, this is a bit weird, this one. Okay. Questions will have to wait. I need to figure out where this stamp came from. The stamp has a part of a cancellation mark. which indicates the exact city it was sent from. The four letters are part of the city's name. It can, if I can deduce the missing letters, I can find out the specific origin of the stamp, which Zero. might prove helpful. Thanks for the lurk. Okay. So, optional. Find out the exact city the stamp was sent from using the letters in the in the cancellation mark as a clue. The letters form part of the city's name. Okay, and find the stamped country. Find out which country this stamp Tiger Lily gave you is from. Book a flight and deliver it to a government official or museum. View the stamp in the evidence. Okay, evidence. Okay, so can we enlarge this? Uh, is that R O U T? Maybe like Portugal? No, maybe I don't know. Ampundo pole. Let's type this in. Ampundo pole. Let's let's do that. Yes. Okay. So let me just type it in. I won't go big screen because I need to read it. A N D R I N O P L E. Okay, it's a city in Turkey. Okay, okay, so let's, let's, just, let's just show you this now, just so you know what I've done. Woo, hello. Uh, that's the one. There we go. So, Antropol, city in Turkey. Okay. So then what do we need to find? We need to find place... R O R O U T R O U T in it. So R O U T. Can we get can we get a map up here?
Trying to find. Fem. Hmm. We got Erdine. What did that say again? Suck at racing, don't forget to hydrate and power up. We need you back here with full okay. energy. So, Arvo, what was it? So it was R O U T E, root. That was spells? R O U T. I didn't, I didn't put E on it. E. Root. And then. So A D R I N O P L E Something maybe so will that come up? Don't see anything. See anything? So, hmm. that one. One. Why is it there? Why is it like go down all the time? This is stupid. That one. That one. Let's go back to live. Right, so almost I don't see anything to do that. What's the other thing that says on the stamp? What does it say? Ottomans. Hold on a minute. Let's let's okay, Ottomans. Uh Ottoman. Ottoman capital? It's Erdine. It's the same for place. Erdine. Right. So is that so that's what it comes up as Erdean. That's what it comes up as. Edan, sounds like the name of an epic quest. What are we diving into next? Oh, that's why I didn't come up. Right, so that's why I didn't come up. That's why I didn't come up. So, Anthropole Othman, known as Erdine Turkey. So, what did it say in the game? Still don't know what a stamp means though. Like the stamp doesn't I don't seem to see what stamp is meaning. Uh 
Hold on a minute. Ottomans moved their capital from Aodin to Constantinople, now Istanbul. Hold on a minute. So maybe that's... Maybe it's that then. <clears throat> I'm not too sure. What does the stamp say again? What does the stamp say? So it's got a partial stamp mark on it saying R O U T. R O U T. So, the R O U T. Like, I don't know. What does that mean? Stamp? Maybe something like that? No, obviously, we don't want that because that'll just give us a fucking answer. See, that's the problem with doing searches. Like, you can just, yeah, straight away. Uh,. Anthropol, Eradine, Stamps, Turkey, Ottoman, Cancel Turkish Stamp. This is the same thing that we've that we've got on the game, isn't it? Was this actually a real thing? It looks like it was. It actually looks like a real thing. Got a yellow cars. <laughs> Have a great stream. Thanks for that, man. May your car yelling skills be top notch. Hmm. It's the same thing. Hold on a minute. This is the same thing, guys. This is this is based on real life. What? Hold on a minute, though. No, this is this. Hold on. What's that? P O S T. I can't seem to see that. So, open that in a new tab. Can't see that. Hold on a minute. Yeah, there we go. That say what does that say? P O S. That's definitely the stamp. So we got the Ottomans there. We got the postal stamp, but this has got someone else on it. P O S T E. Maybe just posties. Posties. So that's nothing, is it? This. This in in apple in apple in in apple maybe this is right we're actually really complicated it's like really complicated um where's my stream gone there we are is that really hard? Uh, in 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 Apple, isn't that what the place was called anyway? We know we're going to Turkey. If we just go to Turkey and drop it off at a museum, do you think that would be done? Okay, let's get to let's get to the airport first. Right, let's 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 just let's just see. Let's just see. I don't know if we're getting this right or not. Uh, okay, so we need to book a flight. 
Uh, we need to go to Turkey. Istanbul. Yes, that's exactly where we want to go. We go okay. Uh, we need to get there three hours. Uh, so we can go to this one. Go fly. Yeah. And boom. Can't board this flight yet. Come back in three hours. Then 11, 12. So that'd be 12. Okay. So wait. Three hours. Yes. Okay. There we go. <coughs> okay. Okay. We're on our way to Istanbul. Museum. Thank you for meeting me here. I'm here to donate these stamps back to their origin country. I hope I came to the right place. That's a beautiful stamp. It was issued during the Ottoman years. A beautiful specimen. And we know whom we owe our gratitude. A generous soul who wishes to remain anonymous. Let's leave it as that. The museum can keep it by expecting an official letter of acknowledgement for our donation. Of course, that's the least we can do. One last thing, if you please. The Pilophonic uh, Museum is a community-run organization. We can't afford official historians. Does this donor have any more information behind the stamp? Which city it came from? I, um, we don't know what the city is, guys. That's the only thing we didn't know. Oh, we've got the right country. We, we don't know what this is. R-O-U-T. Uh, okay, hold on a Okay, hold on a Hold on a Okay. City, it said cities, in it? it? said cities. Cities. Yeah, in Turkey. In, 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 in No, in 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 Istanbul. Is Istanbul or Turkey? Uh, in Istanbul. Yeah, it's in Istanbul. Right, right, hold on a minute, hold on a minute. Right, okay. We've got, we, we've got, hold on a minute. So, R O U T, let's have a look. Districts. Let's have a look at districts. Uh, we need to find something that was R O U T in it. Have a look. If anyone knows the answer to this, please put it in chat. I swear. <laughs> uh, so it's a city in Istanbul. And it's got R O U T in in the in the words. Um, <clears throat> right, let's have a look.
Okay, okay, hold on, hold on a minute. Right, so, hold on a minute, let's go back onto the Turkish. Oh, hot. Oh, man. Uh, was it cancelled? Oh, it was cancelled, wasn't it? Cancelled. Can stamps? Cancelled stamps. China, okay, okay. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Uh, let's see if we can find the stamp on the stamp. Bingo. I'll put this on big screen in a minute if we can actually find it. Ah, okay. Yeah, it was a cancel stamp. There's some kind of misidentification. So that R O T E is something different. Yeah, I think we're looking at, I think. And this is really, actually really hard. So looking and I'm, I, I'm just like looking. But the, the stamp itself is like, it's like, it's like discontinued or something like that. Uh, and this was sent looking at it not from turkey so the root thing that's why i couldn't find it okay 
So we have a Yeah, okay. Right. So I think I think and and I think I'm right, but I don't know. So I I'll, I'll show you what what I've been looking at because it's like yeah, so I I went to a wiki. Uh this is this is like really hard actually. So this is like uh where about we uh, madness. Is that it? Yeah. Is this it? Yeah. Okay. So. Uh, is this, is this one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know why it's not showing you the top of it. Okay, but so the stamp, as we know, this one here was from the Ottomans, um, Antropole, yeah. Uh, so the Ottoman Empire, uh, stamps between 1863, 1888, uh, it had postal cancellations, which we knew about, and Ottoman Empire was such as Palestine, Jordan, Lebanon, and Greece. Now, I went through a lot of them, I couldn't find anything. Except for in Lebanon. So, Lebanon, Lebanon, and then obviously Beirut, and Beirut, the root off, if you, if you get what I mean. So, I think the answer is Beirut. I think because it's the only thing I could I could think of so it's a guess but I think the city is um Beirut what am I, what am, what am I doing here yeah I think the city is Beirut but I'm not I like actually not too sure so we're gonna we're gonna try it so Beirut. Thank you. You'll receive the acknowledgement letter soon. Please send the donor our thanks. Okay, so we don't know if that's right until they get him back in contact. Okay. Return to your office. Okay, okay. Do we have to? Do we have to? Um. Oh, we have to get enough flight, don't we? Uh, where did it from Istanbul? Do we live in Athens? I actually don't know where the hell we live. Do we live, do we live in Athens? Hey Ready for some epic detective vibes tonight. I, I, I don't. I actually don't know if we live in Athens. <laughs> like, I forgot. I forgot even where we live. Okay. Um. Seven, ten, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can get that. Go. Okay. Board. Okay. What was it? 
10.45. Right, we can board it in like five minutes. Go. Okay. Um, this is not where we live. Where the hell do we live? <laughs> where do we live? Does anyone know? Oh my god, I actually don't know where we live. Oh my god, hold on a minute. I can't be wasting loads of money. <laughs> where the fuck do we live? <laughs> oh shit. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. Um. <laughs> do we live in. Oh, only me could fucking forget where. Do we live in China? Do we live in China? I don't know where the fuck we live. Oh my god. And then, um, what was it called? Hey, Anthony. Sorry about, uh, what's it? China Chinatown. It says it right in the fucking name. Chinatown. Wow. Well, fucking stupid. I, oh my god. So stupid. So stupid. Why am I even playing this game? I don't know. I swear to God. Brains like a goddamn sieve. Um, right. I'm guessing that. That's is that. I'm guessing that's where we live. Sh Shendo? Right, we have to go to this one then. <laughs> Time was it again? We live here. I hope we live here. We just spent five hundred dollars on it. Oh my god, is this not where we live? Where the hell do we live? <laughs> We're gonna be running around the world here. What the fuck? Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Where do we live? China town. I just go fucking Google it. I've got to fucking go where? 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 Where do? Where do we live, I swear to God. Yeah, okay. Wait a minute. Where is it? Where is it? What does fuck? Did they even tell us? Singapore. <laughs> Fucking Singapore. Oh my gosh. I didn't even see Singapore around here. Singapore. We live in Singapore. It is a Mont oh my Google God! Yeah, Google Detective Simulator. Oh my God! If I don't, if I don't, I've just wasted enough of five hundred dollars, five hundred dollars to go to a country I don't even live in. I have to honestly. I'm gonna have to start writing this shit down. In Singapore, right? Seven fifty. Go. Come on. Oh, five, six, seven. We just have to wait 40 minutes. Oh my god. I can't believe we keep on wasting money. Like it's it's good thing it's only fake money, isn't it? <laughs> oh dude. Now how are you mate anyway? How are you, Anthony? It's the time and how are you doing today? Let's get back home. Is it? Yay! We live here. This is the place. <laughs> this is where we live. Fucking <laughs> oh, over. Oh. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Google. <laughs> oh, God damn it. We have to go home. Yeah. Oops. Whoops. Oh, whoopsie dee dee. See? 
let's see if we got the um thank you anthony 30 blade glad you're doing well ready for some detective okay let's see. did we actually get this right though if we got this right we got a bonus we got a bonus for getting this right and it was hard the Phil philodenic uh, museum of istanbul sent their most heartfelt thanks for your donation of the ottoman era stamp it also appears that you were right fucking yes the stamp was originally saved from, sent from beirut in lebanon which was once part of the empire your contributions to the preservation of our historical, historical heritage will enrich the lives of the collectors and few years for generations to come. Sincerely, Sam, whoever. Oh, yes. Man, that was hard. Like, that was actually hard. We had to go into the wiki and everything just to fucking find this fucking thing out. Dude, the machine. Machine. Boom, you're gone, mate. She's gone. See you later. Bye-bye. <laughs> That's fast, dude. It is a Montebego with GTA 5 if you want mayhem, but Cruiser Blast 2 for chill vibes. Just remember, either way, it's all about those wild rides. Lily, I'm back and I got your letter from the Istanbul uh, Museum. Great work, Miss Dharma. My friend is quite pleased. A brilliant work finding out exactly the city the stamp was sent from. A bonus is in order. Yeah. Generosity of our generous donor. Thank you, but I really want to know, like, as an explanation, you know, just out of curiosity. I hover there, and there's a working type. Yeah, on it, man. Uh, you get more than that, Miss Dharma. Please come visit me, am I? Elf. <coughs> Elf Club. Elf Club. Right, Jay Lang, whenever you get time, please make it soon. I'll give you the backstory. Okay, Tiger Lily. Perfect. Thank you. See you soon. Visit it Tiger Lily at a health club in Guy Ling. Gamer style. Right, well, let's go and get some food first. Do we, do we need to eat? Do we need to eat? I'm guessing we don't. I'm guessing we do. Adam Chan's palace. Uh, where? Gailing? Ga Ga Gailing? Gailing. I, li I do like this game. But yeah, using the internet and stuff like that is actually really hard. Like, especially like like that. Then like, it, uh, it wasn't it, like you wouldn't. Because obviously it was dead easy to track the the track there where the stamp had actually come from and go to that place but actually finding where it got posted from that was a whole different matter that was like really actually hard Miss Dharma. <sighs> excuse me Miss Dharma. Lily hope it's not a bad time it's the perfect time please come in Welcome to my little kingdom. This is Lucas Yo, the former owner of the stamp you brought back to Turkey. Okay. Pleasure to finally meet you, Miss Dama. That was great work. Does he look like the guy that we was like working for before? Pleasure's mine, Mr. Yo, of the revered Yo family, if I'm not mistaken. Revered is a word best suited for those deserving of it. I prefer the word infamous. But legions would disagree, as I'm no, sure it was Rupert well Sal. What's the same guy? The Temple of the Self has hundreds of thousands of devoted followers, but Lucas here seems to think it's all a sham. The temple has been racked with controversy for years, if I may speak frankly. Speak as truthfully as you wish. You'd be a holier person than any of my kin for doing so, as you probably already know. The most holy father of the temple, who also happens to be my biological father, has passed away. I have inherited wealth of no small consequence. Wealth I want nothing to do with. That includes a valuable stamp collection that my father amassed through the decades. <laughs> okay, so you just want to give back all the shit that your dad gave you probably because he, like, thieved it. 
Okay. I have decided to salvage a little decency for my own family by donating them back to their places of origin. The Ottoman stamp was just one of many. And I'm hoping you can help me get rid of a few more. I, the FNAF this film, I think, is actually it. good. Maybe next time like, throw in there's a few things that, that yeah, they could have added. The second one probably will be better. Um, but I actually liked it. Yeah, I watched it quite a while ago when it first came out. I, I, I enjoyed it. Yeah. Like, you know, could, could he have... Mm. Excuse me. Could he have a bit, bit more things like you know, like with like security guard and all this kind of stuff and whatever? But maybe, but yeah, I think it was done pretty well. The animatronics and uh, all that kind of stuff was done really well, actually. Um, yeah, it was done. It was, it's a pretty good film. I would be happy to be of service. It's just, well, I suppose I don't completely understand why. Yeah, yeah, you'd think there would be more jump scares as it's Five Nights at Freddy. There wasn't a lot, to be honest with you. One or two, or maybe three, four, that actually kind of made you go, oh God, but everything else it was just like. True. Nothing like a good jump yeah, scare to get your heart racing, but hey, at least it kept you entertained. I'm sure some of those stamps could be worth a pretty penny. But again, I mean, it was aimed more at more of a kids wasn't it so yeah i mean i don't think they really wanted it so they'd be like uh like 18 because what was it was it 12a is it was it 12a i think it, it might have been the 12a right in it i'm not too sure if it was a 12a or 15 can't remember it was a 12a yeah there you go yeah the michael often thing being burnt crap uh was a turn for me <laughs> yeah Again, you know, there'll be things that are like, you know, hardcore for that fans, like, probably didn't like about it. But I think it, I think, like, if you go back on all the reviews, they were pretty positive. But yeah, I, I, I think he aimed it more at children. It is a monster, because, right? Burn traps twist but, wild like, a lot of children don't really even know about fast. You know, a, a lot of these children have grown up into adults. That's the truth. Tempting, isn't it? You could sell one or two of the stamps to a collector for the same amount of money you would probably earn in a good year. But let me remind you that you would be profiting from a lie. In my opinion, the worst lie of them all. A promise of salvation that can never be kept. Yeah, I there definitely will be a second one. Um, what, what? because of the success of the first one what i read at the time was they put it into production straight away because they knew straight away obviously it's it it, it went good and they got you know it, it was basically made on like a not a very big budget um i can't remember exactly the budget but it wasn't very big you know for like hollywood it is a mont v right if they do a sequel, uh, <clears throat> it's got to be packed with more. You know, they was able to get on those you know some twists. pretty good actors for it as well. Um, the story was pretty tight on it. You know what I mean? Um, like I said, you know these things when it get when these video games per se get made into um, movies, it's never what quite you think because it's obviously we play these games, we know the stories inside and out. It, well, the first one got delayed quite a lot. It got delayed by years, by the way. It, years and years and years and years. It went through like five different rewrites uh, to get it like kind of how it was. Um, so there was a there, yeah. It went through a lot. It went through a lot to even get out there. It it it, it was kind of like hell to get this to get the movie out. What I what I've been told. Because <laughs> like I said. Uh, they went through a couple of directors, a couple of producers. Yeah, it was about five years, something like that. Yeah, it went through multiple script writers. Um, delayed again. Guess they're still looking for that perfect jump scare. Eventually, they they settled on something that um, they were all happy to do, because um, obviously um, the guy who actually does the FNAF series, I can't remember him off the top of my head. Scott, so get Scott Scott Carson. He was he was part. He was obviously helped write the movie. Um, and he wanted it as close as he as they could to 
what was like in the original game but again hollywood and stuff like that you have to write it in a, in a certain way um i have to do things a certain way um so it's quite hard when you adapt something from like a novel or a book or especially a computer game i mean if you look at the borderlands movie <coughs> i i actually kind of liked it it wasn't that bad but it didn't do good because the fans were like ah well this is kind of not written in the way i wanted it to be written and that's the problem yeah they did an amazing job bloom house they really did right. Bloomhouse knows how to bring that cinematic so it's very I hard for them to level i mean i i, I love time. hitman um i've had so many hours in hitman um I've, again it's one of these games i've i've not i've not played on for quite a while i've, I've never streamed it either but the hours i have on hitman is, is like psh, <laughs> like it's too many it's it's goddamn too many uh but i was super excited for the hitman movies the first one was okay i i technically prefer the second one because it's more kind of like hitman ish but the first one was actually better even though it wasn't really hitman ish if he, it, and then that's the thing with movies sometimes they hit sometimes they miss sometimes the first ones are better than the second ones you know if you can get a second one there is you know what i mean like so it, yeah it depends like you know i mean you look at the mario movie that was the smash sonic movies were really good as well even though at first like the animations were crap um yeah the, the minecraft guys. movie looks really bad at the, the moment i hope it's not because it's one of my favorite games ever um i really hope it's not i really hope that you've took the criticism on board because it's been ratio to hell at the moment i really like sonic did sonic designs got ratio to hell they went back to the driving boards and actually did a proper sonic that we can all be proud of and 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 it and it was a smash hit you know mario to hit it out the park with so i really hope that the minecraft that the take the criticism on rather than going you're all wrong this movie is not for you which i have seen like a lot of these things saying coming out and saying i actually hope that they listen to the fans because that's what we all love these films games stories books and all that kind of stuff and not just make it for an audience because when you make it for an audience the audience is never there and the audience don't care it because real, it's like yeah it you make it for the fans because the fans are the ones that are going to watch the movies and if the fans like it then the audience will come that's how you do it you make it for the fans and then the audience will come because guess what the fans and the people on the internet and everyone like that i'll big it up and go this is amazing this is exactly what fans wanted this is just super cool go and watch it you know and it'll sell like hotcakes this is where these companies don't realize that the power of the internet and the power of like influencers and stuff like that social media and stuff like that they don't understand they just think that it's we're gonna make these movies for these people and then people just never turn up they never buy the products they they they, they never go to the cinemas they never buy the dvds they don't give a shit they don't care <laughs> they don't it's the fans that really do and it's the fans that they should make these products for and then the fans will go hey have you seen this oh i've heard about it is it any good yeah it's amazing you should come watch it okay i'll do that boom simple <laughs> my god uh yeah let me remind you that you would be profiting from a lie in my opinion the worst lie of them all i promise of salvation can I mean, never you don't be know kept. the trail of destruction the temple leaves in its wake. Yeah, you gotta love the Twitter ratios, yeah. I mean, I don't really, like I said, I try not to. It's hard when you're like, like you know, you watch YouTube or you're on X or you, you watch, it doesn't matter where you are nowadays. You'll see something, it'll, it'll catch your eye. I try not to read into these things because some of it is, the, you know, a bit of baloney. Some of it's hyped up and drama and all this kind of stuff. And I, I try not to read all that, to be honest with you. Couldn't care less, to be honest with you. Like, you know, as long as long as it's a good product and I enjoy it, then I'll go watch it. I'll go play it. Doesn't really, it doesn't really affect me that much if it's not. Um, 
it's a shame if they don't like you no know, certain games don't turn out to be successes you know because you got people working on them that are hard working you know they've got families and they got they got jobs and stuff like that and it's a shame that some of these games just are flops from day one um you know what i mean and they've spent years on them same with movies they spent years on them and they just don't hit again why that is is again it's probably because i maybe the writing's not correct maybe they didn't do the research on the product that they're actually writing for <laughs> like for instance like in hitman did he actually go they, did he actually even play a hitman game probably not probably not they probably got given a script and went this is what it's about can you direct a movie about it yeah i can simple and it's not really I'm the taken. way you should really well let's take like, a look at those stats look at then. all the information at least play the, some of the games to get a good idea of what it's about have a look at the forums of all the fans what they want what they are into what you know and actually kind of like okay this is kind of a general idea of what we want the people to look like what all hits what all miss you know easter eggs in there i mean you look at you look at um probably even a deadpool and that's a perfect example of how to do a movie is it the best movie ever no is it fun yeah yeah it, it is has it got loads of easter eggs yeah has it got loads of things for the fans yeah i you know when i was watching it and in the cinemas i was in the cinemas at the time and blade came on and oh my god the cinema went bloody crazy. It's, it's, it's blades, it's blades, it's got the blades, it's got the blades, it's got the blades. It's got the blades. <laughs> it, 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 you know what I mean? Like nostalgia and like and stuff like that. Like it, it like it can sometimes hit a franchise, but it can also um, sometimes can also help it. It depends if you've done it too much. If you're bringing them back just for the bringing them back sake then it's not gonna work it's like the new the newer star wars movies they brought back all the old the old ones to kind of like but i don't think they needed to i mean maybe as a cameo here and there you know what i mean and maybe as part of the storylines yeah but you know like they kind of had their time you know what i mean like the ghostbusters as well i really like what they did with the new ghostbusters but again they kind of just it's nostalgia it's a bit of both um you know what i mean it, it, it can work and it can be but it, it can also be detrimental it's a fine it's a fine line really to be honest with you i think people just want good stories good stories and original stories at that you know what i mean they don't want it like they don't want all the stuff that's regurgitated and rewritten and redone and rehashed because we've already had it it's the truth right so what's this more stamps oh god dude i don't think i can carry on doing these stamps uh okay set of two exempt what's this all right set of five stamps from the same series in case in protect the film there's a cancellation stamp visible these are the, are these the same kind of stamps i think i've just seen these on the internet yeah i think these are like greek or they're the same again the turkish or whatever so I have two identical stamps in case they protect the film no cancellation marks are visible meaning they are potentially in unused condition okay so we've got two stamps there but no stamp marks so we can probably just take these back these ones have to go maybe back to the same place some okay. of these are in mint condition yeah and i have no use for them but maybe others will please get them to where they'll be better appreciated i'll get to work do i still get a bonus for finding out which city the used ones were sent from yes you'll get something extra for putting in more work good luck call me when you've got updates got it it was nice meeting you lucas okay so we got more stamps we've got to return the first stamp return the first stamp set of five so they are origin cunt uh, country okay city of first set <laughs> optional find out which city the used stamp in the first set was sent from and then return the second set stamp return the second stamp to the to the stamp set there. so that one doesn't have an optional thing the first one does 
Let's have a look now then. So these are the first ones. And it's got is that harp? H A R I think that's Harp. Harp. I think that's a B at the end. H A R B is A is it a, is that oh, that could be a P. Again, it's really hard to see. Set five stamps from the same series in case in protect the film. That one's gonna rip down it as well. There's a cancellation stamp visible. It looks like maybe these are Chinese. N seven fen. It's N fen. Five fen. Maybe they're the Chinese. Have a look on the um the old Google Google. What is Fen? Five Fen. So Chinese. Okay. So they are Chinese. Um okay. Uh and if we can put in stamps. Stamp, stamp. Stamp. Okay. Boom. Got them. Postage stamps. So. Uh, okay. Actually, are these Chinese? This is from Japan. The inscription is in is in Chinese. Okay, audit, I don't know. So if I do so it's the monkey postage stamp. Got them. Okay, so I'll show you now. Uh, oh, no, sorry. Wrong screen. Okay. I don't know why it's so... Why is it so big? Why is it, why is it doing all the stuff? Oh. Okay, so here we go. <coughs> so we got the uh, Monku stamps. These are definitely the ones. Uh, we, so we got like one, five, oh, how many? What have we got in here? We got, okay, we got seven, five, ten, six, and six. Okay. Okay, so. These are the so the so where so so they are from Japan. Got Chinese letters at the top. Let's go yeah at Lai Young. Hey, where is well okay where is where is Lai Young now? Same stamps. Okay, I know, I know that. Is it Japan? Is it Japanese? No, I don't want to go to the wrong place again.
Oh God, I don't know which one it is. Um, um, Japanese. Uh, it does say it's first. She first posted Mancun. <clears throat> okay, so the Bagodia is in China, situated in the Tazi River. Okay, so I'm guessing we're gonna go to China. I think we're gonna go to China for this one, but then it's the actual um, stamp itself. Let's just quickly go to that. This will be the last. This will be the last one as well because it's getting late. So I'm gonna be up in the morning. Uh, hey, H. I don't know what that is. It's ha ha bo. Ha bo. Does it say anything else? Cancellation stamp visible. I wonder if it says about the cancellation stamp again. Okay, let's have a look. Japan created them. I don't know what they, I don't know if it's China or Japan then. Sure. It'd be one of them. Where can I go in the game? Wait, let's just see where we can go in the game. Harvest. That's China, wasn't it? Hong Kong. Osaka is in Japan. Yeah, I'm right, it's Chinese. Um, let me check the stamps again. That H A, I think it's a R. I think that's a B. So if these are in China, okay, let's see. Uh, uh, China? Harbin. Harbin, China. Okay. Try Harbin. Harbin. So 
we want to go to get rid of some of these. Boom, 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 boom. Let me just get rid of that. Okay. Let's look the windows up in a moment. Shanghai. Okay. Are we in Shanghai? Are we in Shanghai now? Oh, we're in Singapore. Don't forget, we we need to remember that we live in Singapore as well. <laughs> Otherwise, we're going to be around the world again. So, right. So, Shanghai. Uh, three hours before. What? 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 Uh, I, I can't make that one then, can I? So, I'm not... Okay, let's... Okay, now it's the next day. So, what that? Ten forty. Nope. Singapore. Okay. Right. Let's do that again. Singapore. Okay. Not Singapore, bloody hell, man. Shanghai! Right, okay. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think we're going to wait till seven o'clock. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I think so. Because we'll wait the hex to half an hour now. think the answer in chat so we think it's harbin harbin sounds like an adventure waiting to happen let's unravel this together For meeting me here, I'm here to donate these stamps back to the Arvigin company, uh, country. I hope I came to the right place. Uh, these ones. These are incredible. Stamps from a time when Manchuria was governed by the Japanese. So yeah, we were right. It was governed by them, but they are Chinese in Arvigin. Regime kept can keep it, but. He uh, expects an official letter of acknowledgement for our donation. We are specimens of our own. We would never have used more of these lovely artifacts. Besides, one of these is special. 
has a cancellation mark on it. It was used and sent out by from a city from within Manchuria. Any idea which? Yes. Ah, bin. Thank you. I've run it by our curator. You'll receive the acknowledgement letter soon. Please send the donor our thanks. Okay. So we've done that one. And now we've got to do this one. So I have two essential stamps in case in a protective film. So we need to we need we need to find these ones. I think these are like maybe Greek or something. Like they look like it. So let me just type in okay, let's uh A P A X M I A Stamp. It's Greek. It's Greek. Yep, what did I say? Okay, yep, Greece, yep. Yeah, we're off to Athens. We're off to Athens. That one was pretty easy. Okay, so. No active flights. Okay, so. Athens. Yeah, there we go. We just have to wait till 12 o'clock and then we can go <clears throat> so i'm getting used to this traveling system now so you've got to book the timing but you got to make sure you've like your three hours ahead just like in real life and then you can board so once it gets to 12 because it's at three o'clock that's three hours so you should be able to board to donate the stamps averaging company submit oh my i've only seen stamps like this on the online catalogs i didn't think i'd come face to face with the real ones for five months from four for five months in 1912 Icaria was a free state after fighting his way out of optimum rule during those five months it printed its own stamps and now two beautiful specimens right here before me what happened to Icaria after those five months eventually joined greece which is still part of today if you have time to spare i'd recommend a visit it's a beautiful island i want nothing more unfortunately i'm here on business uh this is being donated by a generous soul who wishes to remain anonymous the museum can keep it but he expects an official letter of acknowledgement for our donation and uh, then inform our donor that our museum is eternally indebted to him thank you i'm going to buy our curator you'll receive the acknowledgement letter soon Please send the donor our thanks. Okay. Well then, we'll just got a little bit better with those stamps back where they belong. I deserve a Nobel Peace Prize. Our oh, nice bottle of ramen. All oh, sounds nice. Now let's head back home. So, where did we leave it? Uh, Singapore, wasn't it? Singapore. Uh. We're not going to make that one. We're going to have to wait to the next day. We're going to wait. So we're going to uh, eight, uh, six, right, as well, seven, uh, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we're going to wait the five hours till midnight. There we go. We're now on midnight. So we're now all oh, look at that. It's all lit up and everything. That's cool. 
now we can do this. So, uh, Singapore, well, we got one for 8 o'clock, 8.25. Okay. Oh, it'd be five, wouldn't it? It'd be five twenty five. Just have to wait 25 minutes now. Go. So we're getting used to the system now. Yeah, I'm definitely used to it. The traveling system and getting used to the internet system as well uh trying to do this is so uh, that uh, seemed a lot easier now i know kind of what to do not saying that it will be easy but I, it seemed that way a little bit easier and navigating what we were meant to do um where am i meant to be going here return to the office okay got a new email okay thanks uh dear mr armand of shanghai institute would like to convey your heartfelt thanks to the donor after five months you have a stamp so, so this is the one with the additional information did we get it right we also would like to thank you for your effort and personally delivering you in the stamps to us we are pleased to inform you we were right you stamp was indeed sent from harbin once in the Manchurian realm, now in the northern prominence of Heljiang, it will make an excellent addition to our collection. Thank you very much. So we got it right. That's our gratitude, dear Amira. We thanks for the stamp. Blah 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 blah. Stop by next time. Blah 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 blah. blah. Okay. Like a lily. Oh. Lily. I have confirmation emails from Athens and Shanghai for the stamps. Excellent. I'm sure Lucas will be quite pleased. Your payment will be transferred shortly. Great work. Glad to be of service. Thanks for using Chinatown Detective Agency. Well, Chinatown Detective Agency could certainly be of more help to me. Do drop by whenever you can. Lucas's grievances with the temple and his family are becoming more complicated. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. I'll be over when I can. Thank you, Amir. Good to know there are still a few good reliable people in this city. They're there if you look. Speak soon. Money in the bank. Oh. I don't know if you can see this, but at 21,980 we have. Damn. That was a lot of money. Hey! Okay, guys. That is going to be it for the stream. We've done two cases. I've really enjoyed this game. Um, It's just saved, but it, you're probably going to see this anyway. Uh, but we'll probably have to play this back again tomorrow uh, or whenever at the next stream. And send the two two five one five four five two is not not known contact. We've known this person. Please do delete the message. Good evening, Miss Dharma. I would like to inquire about your availability to assist in the confidential and very urgent matter that requires investigation. Impossible. When we meet to discuss the matter in person, I'm afraid I cannot reveal details via email or chat. I hope you understand. Looking forward to your reply, Doctor Pan. And Doctor Pan, thank you for sending us the message. At Chinatown Detective Agency, we pride ourselves in providing excellent services for... Nope, not going to put that down. 
that the Sons of Detective Agency is Singapore's premier private investigation agencies for eight years in law enforcement and... No, 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 no. We're not going to put that down. Happy to help. Where do you propose we meet? Can you meet 11 p.m. bus stop? CT 14 St. Andrews Old Civic District. Sorry for the short notice. Unfortunately, we don't have a lot of time. That's now. See you at 11. It's like, let's say 10.58. Thank you, Miss Dharma. See you soon. Ooh. Hmm. Could be a waste of my time. But maybe not. Let's see what this Dr. Pan is all about. Alright, we're gonna try and do that tomorrow. Can we can we do that tomorrow? I don't know how we actually Yeah, okay. So I said gonna quit. I I really enjoyed that. It's a bit awkward using the internet and stuff like that and in, in, in most of these games, you know, it actually works pretty good. Um obviously streaming it's a bit harder. If you're playing it on your own, it's a bit easier because I've gotta, you know, then show you like another monitor just to show you what I'm kinda of doing. It's a bit awkward in that way. Um, but playing it on your own, yeah, I, 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 I like the aesthetics of it. I like the music of it. I like the, the retro style graphics of it. Um, it's pretty interesting. And we'll definitely be playing more of that. It was a nice change from um, uh, like garden and simulators as well. You know what I mean? Like um, very, very interesting. I really like that kind of stuff. Right. Anyway, so I do appreciate everyone that's uh, been here tonight. Uh, I've got to be up super early in the morning, so I do appreciate everyone. Uh, let me just see if there's anybody on we can read out to. If not, it will be... Um... Okay, I actually think because he was such so amazing, and if he's still on, we'll go give our friend Doug. It looks like he is on. just going to mute that a minute just to make sure. He's on. It's just an advert at the moment, so give us a chance. Is he on? Come on. Is he on? Looks like he's just started. So, you're in for a treat. Doug is an amazing commentator, guys. Uh, if, you, if, if you don't know, honestly, if you're into NASCAR, you'll love him. Uh, he's an amazing commentator. He commentates on iRacing. Uh, he's very fun to watch. I watched one the other day. Uh, so go and give us some support. Um, and yeah, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Uh, let me just put the radio in. There he is. Okay, and start the raid. Again, thank you very much for being here tonight. I'll probably be back tomorrow. It is actually my streaming day tomorrow. So, yeah, I'll be back tomorrow. Just remembered. <laughs> and it's me saying bye. Have some fun over at Doug's um, stream. Give him some support. Give him a follow. Um, and I'll see you again soon. Bye. We've seen very few races that had more than one caution. We've had entire seasons with only one caution. Kevin Brunner did say before the race they would have their hands full here tonight.